Well, it, it doesn't affect, I mean, the, the, the salmon that you're referring to is a new product that uh, is finally allowed to be on, uh, on the American market. Right. And basically, the salmon grows um, three times faster than a, a regular farm-raised salmon, not even wild. Right. And uh, it, that salmon will never pass the door of Le Bernardin, of course. Um, well, whoa, 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 why? No, no, why no, no. not? But I, 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 because we, we, we are a restaurant that is um, a luxurious restaurant, we, we serve lucky people, and therefore we, we have um, wild salmon on our menu. What if it's genetically but, engineered but, to be super delicious? It is not. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. No, 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 but... Um, But I understand that some people cannot afford wild salmon at, at, 20, to, at $20 a pound, actually. Uh, and, and that salmon may be at uh, $2.50 a pound. So, it, you know, it's, it's a plus and a minus. Do I like that we modify the genes of animals and plants without knowing what are going to be the consequences in 50 years from today? Right. I don't really like it. Do I understand? that it makes sense in some, in some aspect to bring the price of food down and make it affordable to some people. I do understand that. So um, I don't like it, but at the same time, I have a certain understanding about it. But I think, I think it's a, a playing with genes like that and having uh, animals. I mean, if, if you play with genes and you, it's, it's on a... On a but, but, but on, beef, on the, on the, all the beef on we the eat beef. is genetically yeah, but the beef, bred. The beef, is not go, bread. Is, the beef is not running wild. The salmon can escape and, and go in ocean and, and run wild. And we have already some uh, previous cases of farm-raised fish that has been um, escaping from the, how you call it, the pond and, and contaminating uh, species. Uh, and we have this case right now actually in Alaska with wild sal salmon, and that is con con contaminated with farm-raised salmon. It's a big, it's a big, it's a big problem. So, but wouldn't it um, be great to have like fur-bearing trout? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You could eat delicious meals and, you know, stay warm in the winter. <laughs> it's win-win. Uh, no. No, I think the, the we don't, we don't, I think it's a bit early to know the consequences, and, and it may be zero consequences, and it may be the greatest thing uh, that they have invented. Personally, I don't like it, but again, I have a certain understanding, and, and you know, if it allows some people to eat fish at a certain price, and if it allows some fish not to disappear because of our fishing, you know, it's some plus.